In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to add Roman numeral page numbers to your Google Docs document. Whether you're preparing a formal report, a manuscript, or a project that requires a touch of classical elegance, adding Roman numerals can give your document a sophisticated finish. Let's walk through this process together, step by step, ensuring that even a beginner can follow along without any trouble. First off, you will need to open your Google Docs document. Head over to Google Docs by typing docs.google.com into your web browser. Once you're there, open the specific document that you want to work on. Now, we need to prepare the document for adding Roman numerals. To do this, you'll be working within the header or footer of your document, since that's where page numbers typically reside. Double-click in the very top or very bottom margin area of your first page, and this will bring up the header or footer section where we'll insert our page numbers. While in the header or footer section, put your cursor exactly where you'd like that first page number, which will be a Roman numeral, to appear. Navigate to the Insert option in the top menu of Google Docs and select Special Characters. This will open a new window for inserting special characters. In the Insert Special Characters window, you have the option to search for Roman numeral or simply browse until you locate what you need. Find and click on the Roman numeral that corresponds to your first page. For example, use I for page 1. Once you've selected it, click Insert and then close the Special Characters window by clicking the X. Next, it's crucial to add a section break after each page. This will allow us to add different Roman numerals independently on each page. To do this, go to the end of the content on your first page, placing your cursor right after the last word or character. Again, using the Insert menu, hover over Break, then choose Section Break Continuous. This action creates a new section without starting a new page, giving you the freedom to tailor the header or footer independently. When you're ready to move on to the next page, repeat the procedure. Double-click in the header or footer area of the new page. Now it's important to remove any links between sections. In the header slash footer options that pop up, you'll find a checkbox labeled Link to Previous. Make sure this box is unchecked. This step disconnects the current header or footer from the previous section. Now that sections are unlinked, insert the next appropriate Roman numeral, such as U for the second page, the same way we did initially, by navigating through Insert and then Special Characters. Continue following these steps for each subsequent page where you want a new Roman numeral added. Remember, the process involves quickly going to the end of the current page content, inserting a section break, continuous. Navigating to the next page's header, slow, footer, unchecking link to previous, and then carefully inserting the correct Roman numeral for that page. And there you have it. With these steps, your document will proudly display those Roman numerals, perfectly formatted and ready to impress. If any part of this process is unclear, feel free to replay the steps. Happy formatting!